Hey you guys and welcome back to episode 10 of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Well I do believe we are in for a treat. I mean honestly every episode of Dragon Maid is indeed a treat but based on the preview this week we do get a kind of focused episode. So if you guys want to watch more anime make sure to check out the link above or our some Kodaji video in 3, 2, 1, go. He's got a in a dragon for I was just gonna ask why he looks so down. <gasps> Butt face. <laughs> I guess why she looks so like <laughs> draggy. Oh, you've ended up in New York? Oh, I do believe that's you know you you New York, please don't roast me. I do believe the Statue of Liberty is in I've never been to America. Please don't um roast me and don't and anyone, you know, that's from America. I was, I, yeah, I know, it should be, I think it's New York. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm thinking back to, like, Spider-Man, but I don't think they went to New York because they saw the other... Why am I going to spider Anyway, it's back to the main point. Kind of, kind of. I think that's that's all I need to say. Can I just say um, that I absolutely love kind of Dragon Form. I think it's my favourite one out of all the... Because it's so fluffy. Um, <laughs> I, th that, I think that was my reasoning right there. It's just... So goddamn fluffy. Have I seen Ilulu's dragon fall? Have we seen Ilulu's full dragon fall? No, I don't think so. No. I don't think... Yeah, no, no, I think... Yeah, no, I don't think we've seen Ilulu's... Or is that... No, that's Fafanil's. That's Luko's. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, until... I mean, for now, until I see Ilulu's full dragon fall, which I don't think I've seen yet. Um, Kana's, um, by far, is my absolute favourite. But, oh yeah, totally forgot the fact that she's indeed, um, had a fight with Kobayashi and she called us bot face. And why was it so adorable? Um, that was definitely like a, please, um, insult me, Kana, because that was just too adorable. Oh, she, she was just like, Kobayashi, you dummy. <laughs> so it's adorable. Too cute. Anything Kana does, this episode is just going to be me clapping to Kana because everything Kana does deserves a bloody round of applause. Thank you. <gasps> Did you bring some monies? Not quite 500 in a minute. so nice I'll give you a good discount when you come back oh my gosh you like the language no that was a good way to transition back to Japanese <laughs> Run! What's going on? Kind of just like walking a little faster. <laughs> Why though? But, but, but. No, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Oh, I felt that. I felt that for the lad. She flicked ya. Oh. I know you're the bad guys, but I still feel bad for you because that's gotta hurt. <laughs> oh. 
Why were three bad guys chasing you though? Okay, this is New York, thank god. Ganna! <laughs> yeah, why were you being chased? <gasps> Kidnapped! Oh, jeez! Bad guys. Yeah, no, I think she's rich girl. Not maybe, kind of maybe not the time to play. Congratulations, Chloe. You've now become kind of source of entertainment. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> We found a good friend! Oh, Saikao would be so jealous. Oh, both of you don't want to go home. What do you take? Only cash? I mean, fair enough, I know food stamps normally only take cash. <gasps> yum 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 yum. Sweetie, she has a black card. <laughs> the. <laughs> Is that girl okay? She, she's fine. Is that your house? Okay, no, no. <laughs> I don't for a second, she's like, this <laughs> is my house. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh damn, Kana's gonna end your, your entire career. <laughs> oh no, she went easy on them. Are you starting to miss home? Oh, sweetie, I'm sure you couldn't have a big fight with Kabayashi. I think what you should head back home as well. Are you sure it's okay to go home? They'll forgive you, sweetie. You kind of have... That's true. Let's go home. My God. Kana, rescue time. Oh, kind of be bad. <gasps> kind of be real, man. the fuck off what the fuck is wrong with you oh she ran away from home 
Don't worry, Kana's got you. Oof. Eh? Oh, that's gorgeous. But you're fucked. You're sincerely fucked. <laughs> Oh my god, kind of in dragon mode. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, yes. <gasps> I don't taste good. You are one lucky girl. Yeah, it's all a dream. So once you go home, it'll be like it never happened. <laughs> Probably. I know, Royce. So I'm so jealous right now. give you my drift I mean um Japan <laughs> but they're pretty close right welcome home What do you guys even fight about? Oh, she stayed all night worrying about you, sweetie. <gasps> Very nice. Thank God. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Some broadcasted in two languages. That's summertime, isn't it? Uh huh. to me what no no <laughs> no death march why is everything kind of does so cute I, I, I'm holding back from saying like so cute this episode but so cute <laughs> It can be a Kobayashi and Kana day.
What do you guys make shaved ice together? Or watermelon? <laughs> Just really hot over and over again. I feel like it makes it hotter. Oh my gosh, she's the charger. Bless. <laughs> Mini tomato. Mini tomato. Is it from Chloe? Yeah. But you might need to go over instead, but I mean, I feel like your trip was a lot quicker. <laughs> I like how we had the same scene, but this time it's Kana and Kobayashi coming out instead of Kana being like, you dumbass. <laughs> she put it on her hat. No, yeah. Oh, well, there's one over there as well. Oh, she's going to read that's a research project. Where have we where have we ended up to? <laughs> hey, are we in front of Toru's cafe? Agreed. <laughs> Yum. Yum. <laughs> I don't know that. Oh, that looks so spoily. Relatable. That was quite pretty. Mr. Quiet. He's a talk of the tell. Oh, that was a quick change in weather. <laughs> Retreat. Even lightning. Damn. 
Nice. Oh my god, cuteness envelope, cuteness envelope. <laughs> So quiet. <laughs> Save the ladybug. Noisy. I'm sure it can fly again. It's got to shake it up. Let's go home, Kana. Oh, I like how we had that first half to really emphasize this bit. I feel like we just ate all day. I guess we did do a lot of walking. Oh, this episode was just so sweet. I really like this karma um, episode. Oh, I mean, let's be real. The first half was um, really dramatic. We're kind of ending up in America and even in New York, meeting a um, American friend of Chloe as well. And then, you know, saving her from kidnapping, kind of going full dragon mode, which was so freaking fluffy and adorable. But the second half, I just thought it really just like mellowed me out. Like, I feel like that was a perfect like second half to like watch before you fall asleep. Because yes, um, I mean, I'll probably be rewatching the series multiple times. So I just felt like that just like really just mellowed you out. You just enjoyed the kind of precious um, moment between Kobayashi and Kana. Because I think this is the first episode where we've had like just a soul like kind of Kobayashi and Kana kind of moment like normally we've always had total kind of within that mixture but this was a really nice moment um just between them two considering you know the first half was indeed kind of running away from home and even calling Kobayashi a butthead I think that's what, what she called her so I like the fact that they just got like their moment to themselves so it was just like a really fluffy episode that I was just like really absorbed into and just kind of like chilling with so yeah this was definitely just a feels good episode and the fact that it was all kind of focused just absolutely a bless nothing to complain about there because as I said probably multiple multiple times throughout this episode is that it was just so freaking adorable but damn only two episodes left of this amazing series and based on the preview it does look like we're getting into something quite intense to conclude the series so I guess until then make sure you guys say awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys then